Welcome to the Gadget Show Tech channel and the GeForce RTX 5060 Elite from Aorus. This has Windforce Overclock Edition, four years warranty. That's pretty good. DLS4 ray tracing, that's obvious from the RTX if you didn't know. Reflex and Studio, which is good to do with NVIDIA. Now, I'll tell you why I chose this card over the Gigabyte Gaming RTX is these fans, RGB fans. Later in the video, you'll get to see my RGB computer and this card in it. So it's got, you know, oh, it's an astonishing exterior design. But this is the Aura's Elite. Got a reinforced structure, wind force cooling system, cutting edge NVIDIA Blackwell architecture, advanced graphics, enhanced performance, NVIDIA DLS 4 with multi frame generation, game winning responses, NVIDIA Reflex low latency technology, true to life graphics, ray tracing natural rendering so let's open it and unbox some paperwork instructions warranty a little quick guide so that'll be things like well, how to put the power cable on and here we go in its foil plastic wrapping and there it is now this is uh just a little bit bigger than the 406 I had, uh, which this is a replacement for. Got a little Oros badge sticker. PCI 5 connector. Got the little bit of protective slip on there. Power supply connector and the fan. We've got a little peel off here. So there is. There is some protective. And there's another removable sticker here. And there are the fans. With Aorus on them. Then a logo. Then Aorus again. From Aorus Design Lab. So it's pretty good. So here's the computer case. I'm just going to turn the power off. Unplug the cable. Just for extra safety. I've already taken the two slots out that are needed and the screws are here for that and then this is the power cable that will go into the card and the funny thing is is the lovely fans with the lights will be going upside down like that as it slots in up with the PCI 5 slot so you've got the PCI 5 slot there and then just insert that and push and it will click in like so and then we need to screw in here to get that in place this power connector is right at the end way from where my other power cable was was in the middle so I've had to stretch the cable over uh, I'm gonna have, probably have to rewire it somehow so it doesn't look so bad but then I don't want to want to cover the vents these are the connections at the back first of all we've got a HDMI slot display port and then some more display ports so I'll stick my display port cable in there all I need to do now is power it up oh I like the purple so I've just started the computer up we've got the fan lights underneath the aura sign right hand side which is slightly changing colour is the aura logo 
So I've just booted out fresh. I'm going to go to device manager. It gets detected as a basic display adapter. So we need to get the drivers and that you need to go to the Gigabyte site download. So I've downloaded the Gigabyte control center. And when you've installed that on first load, it will update itself and the components and the libraries. So we go to the home screen and we select the graphics card there, the RGB Fusion. And now you can choose the different colours that you want your or assign to flash. Um, I don't know how much it affects fans, I literally can't see them because it's right underneath. But I have found that some of them don't work that well and some of them are okay. So you can experiment with that. Uh, and I think it has is you have the option to control the fans there's like a customize them yourself it's obviously a bit more advanced